up welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back if you're old if you're new what makes you subscribe i told you i was gonna be back and here i am if you guys don't know already i am reckless and irresponsible if this is your first time watching one of my videos you'll find that out just take like 30 seconds into any any one of my videos you'll find out i am reckless and irresponsible so today's video is going to be about my experience with getting veneers but if you guys don't know the reason i got veneers natural teeth my front two teeth are broken which really fucking sucks so it was about time that i need to get my teeth redone like they were just not looking good i wanted to whiten my teeth like i was over like they just needed to be redone you know like sometimes a woman needs to get her teeth redone and that's what needed to happen so this time instead of giving getting the composite i got i don't really know see i call them crowns but apparently that's not what you're supposed to call them basically instead of getting what i normally get like the little squirty stuff with the light i don't really know i was gonna get veneers and veneers are made out of porcelain and they just like glue it onto your teeth i did absolutely no research so i just decided that that's what i wanted because everyone that's fancy has veneers so i was like i'm fancy i'm gonna get veneers well guess what y'all i am fancy so i go in go to my dentist and they're like okay first if you want to whiten your teeth we have to do that first obviously i got my teeth whitened and then they gave me these little trays which i didn't need i shouldn't have paid for that so it's like you had to pay to get your teeth whitened but then there's like an additional fee if you want to get like take-home trays but i shouldn't get take-home trays because like i can't whiten my teeth otherwise they won't match my other teeth if that makes sense so it's dumb to pay for that but anyway so <laughs> got my teeth whitened and then we're like okay we're gonna get veneers what she did when she, we were doing like the consultation for the veneers is she like evaluated my teeth and then she fixed the composite and she made the composite a little bit longer so <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see my teeth are pretty much the same size there's like a ringing sound and i can't tell if it's in my head or in the room somewhere so i guess we'll find out when i'm editing my teeth are pretty much the same size my dentist was like let's make them um, your front two teeth a little bit longer so that way that's like how most people's teeth are and i'm thinking like fuck it why not like let's do it i guess it's just like more aesthetically pleasing but the thing is i have big teeth i'm i'm just gonna say it like i have a little ass head and big teeth so when you make big teeth bigger they get bigger like I already had big teeth and then I got bigger teeth and then it was just a scenario okay <laughs> so she fixed the composite because the composite was like not the same color as my other teeth made them straight and like she just fixed the composite to make it look good so when I went in to get my temporary veneers like I would have nice teeth until I got my temporary veneers and I really liked the way the composite looked I thought it looked good and I was I guess happy with the way they look so then what happened was we get the temporary veneers and temporary veneers are bullshit let me tell you why she put them on and she already told me or she said you have to be very careful they're very fragile they break very easily and i'm like i'm gonna break them sorry like there's nothing else that i could say besides they're going to get broke like i will personally break them they're going to fall out of my mouth like i don't know what else to tell you literally that day i broke the temporary veneers off of my teeth you can feel them on your teeth and i knew that they were just gonna pop right off so i bit into a gummy worm which was super super stupid and they broke they both just like cracked off and so this is probably weird but i messaged my dentist on facebook we're facebook friends <laughs> And I was like, um, so they broke. And she's like, oh no. And she's like, what happened? And then I sent her a picture of like my teeth and then me holding the temporary veneers in my hands. And I was like, shit's not going well. Like we're just not doing good. And she was like, okay, so we'll make an appointment for like whatever. I think it was like the next day. So we make an appointment for the next day and I get them glued back on. Fast forward to about 
36 hours later. I think it, it was New Year's Eve Eve. So December 30th, I was eating dinner at my friend's house and I bit into a piece of, I guess it was garlic bread, so it was kind of tough. And my teeth just cracked. They cracked right off. And my friend like lost her shit. She's like, I can't even look, I can't even, I can't even look at you. Because I guess it really grosses people out when you break your teeth off. And this time I felt bad because obviously it was New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So I didn't want to pull my dentist and have them fix my teeth. I have a very personal relationship with my dentist. I know it's probably weird to most people. And one of my friends is like, if you go to the dentist anymore, I'm going to fucking murder you. Because I literally live at the dentist. Anyway, I didn't want to pull them in on any of the holidays. So I was like, I'll just wait. So I waited until after the first and I was like, yo, my teeth broke again. And she was like, shit, okay. So she brought me back in, glued those suckers back on and this time they were not coming off for nothing. So I think I had them on for like another week. They were pretty good and I was pretty careful, as careful as I can be, but they were good, they were solid. So then I got the actual veneers and I was not, a fan. So when she put them on, the first thing I noticed is they were a lot thicker than my regular teeth. And I'm gonna show you guys again. My natural teeth are all straight. They're all flat. And the veneers made my front two teeth like stick out. And it made it look, I don't know, like it just, they just weren't my teeth. So they stuck out a little bit. And then they were longer, which we made them longer, but I decided that I didn't like that. I'm gonna insert a picture here to show you like what my face looked like with the veneers that I had. Cindy Lou Who. Like you know how people from the Grinch have very big teeth and small heads, you know? Like I just, I wasn't feeling it. And so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give it a couple days just because I felt like it took some getting used to, but it got to the point where I had anxiety about my teeth and I didn't have anxiety about my teeth before. So I shouldn't be thinking about, like I have nice teeth. I'm not gonna <laughs> beat around the bush. Like I'm fortunate that I have braces and I take care of my teeth. I shouldn't be super insecure about them because it got to the point where I was obsessing over like everything. They're not white enough and they're crooked and they stick out and everyone's staring at my teeth. No one was staring at my teeth. Like no one probably even noticed my teeth. But I just, the only thing I could think about was my teeth. I need these out of my mouth right now. These can't stay in my mouth. So I messaged my dentist again on Facebook and I was like, <laughs> Hey girl, please don't hate me but I think I hate them. And she was like, well, I mean, blah, blah, blah. And like part of the problem is because I have a, it's called a relapsed something or other. Basically my teeth from when I had braces shifted um, back to their original spot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so that was like part of the issue. So that's why I came like this one looked push back when like it doesn't look pushed back when I have my normal teeth and it was just like a thing. So we're at the dentist and she's like, so do you want to try the veneers again? Or do you want to just take them off and do the composite? And I was like, what do you think I should do? And she was like, well, and I was like, honestly, I just want to do the composite. She's like, you're done being vain. And I was like, oh, man, yeah, I guess I'm done being vain. But she had to grind the veneers off of my teeth, which was not a great experience. Honestly, you guys, don't break your teeth. It's just not a fun experience. Like, <laughs> keep your teeth intact. Like, hold yourself together, woman. Like, don't break your teeth. I ended up, so, oh man, now we're gonna talk money and I know people don't like talking about money, but here we are. Uh, so whitening my teeth was like $450, which is crazy. And then I had to spend another, <laughs> it was $860. It was $860 for the veneers and that's only because insurance covered it. So because my teeth are broken, insurance covered it. So I only had to pay like $860. And then I had an appointment that I had to pay for out of pocket. Um, so that was like another $100. And then I had to buy a new set of retainers. So that was like another $150. And then, God, there's something else. There's like $400 that's missing somewhere. No, I guess that's right. So what, like, $1,500? 
Oh, and then I thought I was gonna have to pay to get the veneers taken off and then to have the composite done, but I didn't have to pay for that. My dentist paid for that. Um, or she like didn't charge me for that, which is great. Love you, Dr. Hannah, because I just wasn't a fan. Like I just wasn't, that just wasn't a thing for me. So I feel like I just like rushed into it. And then I was like, oh shit, you know what? This is not for me. And then I like rushed back out just how I do things. <sighs> anyway, that's what happened with my teeth. I, is that weird? Like, do you guys care about my teeth? I mean, I think it's kind of interesting. If you like this video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video super soon because I am a organized and professional YouTuber. Okay. Love you. Bye.